Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. We'll look at some of the new data, new trends. Um, this is the prime time for California and the Sierra to get nailed with this heavy slug of moisture this afternoon, tonight, and early tomorrow morning, and then it should be over until the next storm comes through. But California is one of my bullseyes, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Colorado, and to some degree parts of Washington and Oregon State. We'll look at that coming up. But again, California's prime time is happening now. And then again on 4-2 to 4-4 with the storm system. The Tetons get hit hard late 329 through 4-5. Pretty steady, heavy snow accumulation with a, um, a really nice orographic flow. The Wasatch, late 329 through 331. Then we'll get a break with snow on the 3rd and then on the 5th. And I do have a fair amount of snow for the Wasatch. In many cases, what we're talking about here is just continuing to add to these record amounts of snow accumulation and snow water equivalent numbers that we're seeing in California, Utah, and parts of Colorado. Um, so here's the setup. I want to show you what it looks like right now. This is actually visible satellite, and I want to first admire this storm system sitting off the coast. Um, so there's a low right in here. You can see it with that spin in the clouds. That is a powerful storm system right there. That's the one that's bringing that heavy slug of moisture into California as we speak. Um, there's also some other storms behind it. I'll zoom back out. So you've got another low kind of up in here. And there's the low we just talked about. And there's kind of another low back here. All three of them, let me just draw the flow. So it's kind of like this and the powerful jet slamming into the, uh, the Sierra. But that's going to be the setup for a while. I did write about it this morning, chrystomer.com, snow forecast through 4.6. Uh, programming note, I will be talking in depth about the El Nino, which is forecast to take over here by summer, fall, and next winter. It, it'll be, it should be the dominating factor, and I'll, I'll do some more on that coming up. Um, there's your setup. We just looked at that. Now, that's the jet stream forecast from this morning for 4.6. Um, let me show you what it is this afternoon. It's a little bit deeper and a little further west. Um, there it is. So big low sitting off the coast of California with powerful jet. So it's a little bit slower and it's got that low a little further west. But that would be a, a pretty strong setup with an area of low pressure. All right, let's go back to the blog here. I'm going to timing and I'll take this full Forecast radar satellite Wednesday morning. Still seeing some leftover snow in the Sierra throughout the day. Heavy snow into the interior of um, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. Here comes the next low on 4-1 in the Pacific Northwest. Look at that flow through Jackson and in parts of Idaho. And it's still in kind of the same spot on the second. It sits there on the third, fourth, begins to sink further south into California, 4-4-4-5-4-6. So it's a slow low, big time. All right, did a breakout of Alta. The race to 800 inches is now on. They'll get there. You can see some of the snow that is uh, in my forecast. A couple of feet, maybe three feet um, on the outside right there um, in Alta. So big snow through Little and Big Cottonwood Canyon all the way through 4.4. And maybe even 4.5. My forecast totals from this morning are right there. Let me show you what I'm thinking as far as this afternoon. So here's period one. The rest of today through 3.30, roughly another one to two feet to go tonight into tomorrow in the Sierra. Um, about six to eight for the Tetons and the Wasatch in Colorado, one to four. All right, period two, 3.31 through 4.6, another one to two feet for the Sierra. Another two feet or more for the Tetons. Very rich flow. Good stuff in Idaho as well. Um, roughly two feet. For the Wasatch during that period and 6 to 12, 6 to 14 for Colorado. Most of that's I-70 and north. Um, and quite a bit for Washington State and Oregon as well. All right, in the northeast, it's, it's really light. Um, except for northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, northern Maine. I just don't have much accumulation. There's just no big storm system in my forecast for that area. All right, guys, that'll do it for this afternoon weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. We'll see how much snow the Sierra ends up with tomorrow, but it's looking big. Take care.